August 20, 2017 by Shannon Vessel Robson Maybe it's not just us who's shipping John and Daenerys on Game of Thrones. Jorah and John have a heart-to-heart -heart in in this week's episode when John tries to give Jorah Longclaw, the sword Jorah's father had bestowed on John when they were both in the Night's Watch. Jorah refuses the sword, telling John that his father wanted John to have it after the shame he brought on his house. But the way Jorah tells John that it's his sword now, and the words he uses, have us feeling like Jorah is now giving John his blessing to be with Daenerys or at least ceding his position as a love interest for Daenerys. He looks at John and tells him that he should have the sword, and your children after you. Jorah gives John a significant, pointed look, then consider, also that he had just met John in person at Dragonstone, and there are hints of an awkward love triangle and jealousy when Jorah reunites with Daenerys, and they show affection in front of John. Jorah rejecting the sword with those words is an acknowledgement that Jorah probably won't go on to have future children of his own, but recognizes that John has a future. Also interesting the emphasis put on Daenerys as, or lack thereof in the same episode. Given that his limited context for John is also in John's obvious chemistry with Daenerys, it seems clear that Jorah is subtly referencing their inevitable coupling. The most recent episode has John bending the knee to Daenerys and sweetly holding her hand, so it feels like we are now hurtling toward this romance which could actually solve this problem. And since Daenerys cares deeply about what those closest to her think, Jorah giving his seal of approval is of utmost importance. You have theories, so do we don't miss a moment with Game of Thrones updates. By signing up, I agree to the terms and to receive emails from PopSugar. You're all signed up. Check out other PopSugar newsletters.